Well, over 60 animals were rescued from a home in Huntsville last night and taken to Huntsville Animal Services. Our Kelly Kennedy went out to the shelter today. Kelly, how are they dealing with this huge influx of animals? Mike, people at the shelter have been working all day to treat the animals, give them their shots, and clean them up. They say they plan to give each of the cats a bath tomorrow. Huntsville Animal Services recently got in over 60 animals at once, which they say were all found being hoarded under one roof. We had a situation where there were 35 dogs that we brought here to our shelter, 22 or 23 cats, and eight rabbits. Animal care supervisor Karen Buchan says hoarding animals can cause them to become sick and develop diseases. Usually the sleeping area is pretty bad. You know, there's feces all over the place. Um, the bathrooms, uh, you know, you, they're, it's just covered, covered in dirt and feces and urine. I mean, everywhere, if you can imagine it, everywhere. The dogs, cats, and rabbits are being treated for fleas and skin problems. Some of them have skin issues. We're treating them. If they go to a foster home, we'll help continue the treatment. You know, pay, you know, we'll cover the cost of the medication for that. Local rescue groups have taken in several of the animals, and some dogs have already been adopted. But the shelter is still over capacity. They're available for adoption right now. These dogs, along with our other dogs that have been at our shelter for a while. The shelter is also currently under construction, leaving fewer spaces for animals. To combat the overcrowding, medium and large dogs will be adopted out for free over the next several months. They get all the same amenities that, you know, as if you paid for it. They're spayed and neutered, they're vaccinated, they're microchipped. Huntsville Animal Services says they always need more volunteers. For a link to sign up, download the Rocket City Now app and click on this story. Pony the Valley First, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.